Anna Bueller has been covering this story since it broke last night. She is live at ECMC right now with new details on the investigation. Hannah? Ashley and Jeff, it has been almost 24 hours since those three Buffalo police officers were rushed by their colleagues right here to ECMC after being shot in that vehicle pursuit. And as you mentioned, two of them have been released, but Officer Joseph McCarthy is in stable condition here at ECMC after being shot and having surgery last night. This massive crime scene, as you mentioned, spans across the entire city of Buffalo. There are nine different crime scene spots that police are combing through evidence and they say it will be a long while to piece this all together. It's shortly after 6 p.m. Tuesday. A man clutching a clipboard rings the doorbell at a home on Fillmore Avenue in Buffalo. Immediately after, he looks to the right when he hears multiple gunshots and sirens. Gunshots continue and the man ducks for cover as this black Jeep Grand Cherokee speeds ahead with multiple police officers in close pursuit. What we know now is the suspected driver of that car, 28-year-old Kente Bell, was running from police. And according to officers, those gunshots were him shooting out of the moving car. The way that this individual was shooting uh, from a moving vehicle showed absolutely no concern uh, for people's safety, uh, no concern for human life, and officers did an exceptional job under very difficult and very dangerous circumstances. Police say it all started when they tried to stop Bell at the foot of Ferry. Why the stop was conducted is unknown. Commissioner Joe Gramalia says Bell did hand over his license, but then drove away down Niagara at one point, letting a woman out of his car and then shooting at officers multiple times throughout the city. Police say the pursuit covered all areas of the city, the west side, Black Rock, east side, 198 and 33. A 40 minute pursuit, 19 different crime scenes, bullets hitting nine police cruisers. Bell accused of shooting three officers. The chase ending here, the car wrecked and mangled, covered in bullet holes. The uh, handgun, a handgun was recovered. It was recovered from the defendant's hand inside the, uh, inside the vehicle uh, when he was taken into custody. According to police, Bell is on probation for an illegal guns charge two years ago. He's a previously convicted felon for a firearms conviction from uh, March of 2020 in the town of Amherst where he was charged with illegal possession of a firearm, among some other charges. During the chase, in three separate locations, police say three officers were shot. Trevor Sheehan, a seven-year vet of the force, was shot on Bailey Avenue, a bullet hitting his ear and arm. Officer Christopher Wilson, a four-year vet, was shot on Genesee Street, and police say his bulletproof vest prevented the bullet from hitting his body. Those officers have been treated and released from ECMC. Officer Joseph McCarthy, a five-year vet, remains in stable condition in the hospital, going through surgery last night. Police say a bullet nipped his small intestine. Absolutely, it's a miracle. It's a miracle that nobody died. It's a miracle that, uh, you know, that, that uh, you know, we're all standing here today talking about everyone surviving and, and our officers are all going to fully recover. The suspect, 28-year-old Kente Bell, is still in the hospital as well. He's facing a number of charges, including three counts of attempted murder on a police officer and criminal possession of a weapon. Earlier this afternoon, I spoke directly to District Attorney John Flynn, who told me the arraignment for Bell is not going to happen today. He is still under sedation at the hospital. However, the probation department has filed a violation of probation and has now put a detainer on him. That's the latest outside of ECMC tonight. Jeff and Ashley will send it inside. Back to you. Hannah, just stunning images like out of a Hollywood movie. We hope that these officers make a swift and full recovery.